No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And I'm in here today on a Saturday afternoon, me and my boy Lush One. Come on. And we're talking to the two of our favorite rappers, favorite hip hop personalities of all time. Joel Santana and Jim Jones are in the building. This is very, very legendary, as it's, you might be able to tell, because I'm uh, rocking the appropriate shirt for the occasion. Yeah, you very did that. Pricey. You did that. Very pricey. You know, if I'm going to have, I've had this in my closet for like five years, and I, I bust it out from time to time, but it's like, if I'm not going to wear it today, when am I going to wear it? I mean, well, you know, if all things go bad for you, you could you could always sell it a couple dollars. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll get you the new version, the ICFMF train I did. Oh, we, you know what I mean? So you, you know, redid you did it. That. Yeah, and I just put the little baby head on, on, over me with the bandana. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, kind of spice it up, jazz it up. Yeah, because you, well, because he was pointing this out earlier is that you guys ushered Supreme into hip hop, right? I mean, Jim, Jim it's, allegedly. It's, 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 it's a fact, it's documented. Allegedly. On wax, <laughs> he made the statement I'm the first. Rapper in this preem shit, so it's right there though. Yeah, there it is. It's the shirt. You feel me? Like it's right there. Yeah. We, were, we were, we we had no idea who they was. They just had the bag, and we needed the bag. How yeah. much? Well, like there was sixteen grand, I believe it was. About right. 15. They gave us like fifteen a piece. Yeah. Fifteen or six? Oh, I keep saying sixteen. Hey, that's an odd number. They ain't, I don't think it was sixteen. <laughs> it was like fifteen a piece. <laughs> it was something like it was. It, it was a nice chunk to just to be getting a call out the blue, and I'm somewhere in Harlem <laughs> riding around like yo, twin like. Well, brother, like, yo, uh, these skateboard kids want to give y'all 15 grand a piece to take some pictures. I'm like, where at? Where they at? So as, <laughs> as you can see, we have on white t-shirts. It was just out in the street. My hair wasn't done, nothing. Like, this wasn't no I ain't photo get, shoot. I didn't really get the whole, the, I ain't going to front the idea that they did with us wearing a t-shirt and hmm. taking a picture of us and putting it on. I ain't it's such front. a it, simple photo. It was kind of genius. It, it, it was a genius idea. You know what I mean that they did. I give Supreme that they did. You know they did that. What they what they what what, what they did was they knew how influential we, we was. Were, of, of course, I just wish we knew that fact of it. Right. We did. We at the we time we didn't running. know that, and they were allowed to capitalize on us. I don't hold no grudges. I don't think, but you know, I do think we should just be a little bit more. It's not about money for us or y'all owe us nothing. If y'all want to throw us something, you know what it is. We here. You know what right. I mean, but. I think we should just have a little, even just getting shit, sending us boxes of clothes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can you get boxes of clothes with your ring? I, I don't wear it. I, 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 I mean, I, I, do, I ain't going to front. He's taking it to the bodega. My son and all that stuff. I still dibble that, and dabble. I ain't going to front. Me, myself, I, mean, I don't. I'm on my ICFMF shit though. That's a, it's a right. possible. Well, how do you, yeah. see, you see, Capo got it on. We all. But right how there. do you balance? That's the question in this modern age. How do you balance like getting fresh versus like rocking your own shit that is like you want to promote it because it's profitable you your for you to fresh. rock it. You gotta right. make your own shit. You gotta fresh. accessorize it. Oh, this is the it, thing you know? I, I didn't understand. I see a lot of these, these these clothing designers and they don't rock their own shit. I never understood it. Mm. I'm rocking my own shit to wear it, but that don't mean I'm not going. I'm just going to be biased against everybody else. I'm just going to get fly right. every day, like how Can I get you fly. Put the microphone in yeah. just a little bit. You know what I'm saying I, I mix it all in together. Yeah, you, you see how it? we got this ain't all all one thing. We gonna mix it up, jazz it up. You know what I'm saying how we do it, but this the wave right now though. Right. You know what I'm saying definitely. Yeah, man. I just, I, I really just want to emphasize that you know the early two thousands when I first moved to New York City, what a big part of my life Dipset was, and just like going to the fucking the corner stores and shit, Another and one. going to Canal Street and just buying these fucking bootleg mixtapes and having to learn the hard way that a lot of these mixtapes were fake and that pack them out. He buying bootlegs. <laughs> it was pack just songs out. from Everybody other mixtapes co combined together with cool cover art. It, as much as we hated the bootleg game. It, it, it did so much for us. Man. Right. I can't. I can't now. We, now I can't complain. We, Back then, it was. It was but, like money out of our pockets. You know but what we kind of figured. We, but we made money off the. Oh, had, what? We, we made hella money. We kind of figured out that that. How, no, how, we how. had the system, but they. It was like they were stealing from the system. They was robbing the system. It's like casino. They remember, they, they remember they was robbing the um the take. That's what they was calling it. Um, casino when they, yeah, yeah. The, they was robbing the, the money that they who's stealing the money that we're stealing. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it felt like when the bootleggers, but they were able to get it out, you know, more even to more people. You right. know what I'm saying? And, you know, some people wanted to spend the ten dollars for the tape, some people wanted to spend the little five dollars for the tape. So you always got your 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 vary of people and budgets of people and it's always gonna be like that. It's still like that to this day. But you know what the new version of that is the weed game where as soon as you make something dope, people start ripping off your packaging Yo. and everything. Oh. But but you can't really do anything about it in the weed game because it's, it's still illegal federally. But the music shit at the yeah. time, the labels were just kinda out of it Watch and like out for weren't fake pursuing babies, this shit. Yeah, I'm fake, sure you fake got the fake knockout. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All that. Yeah, I mean when you, when you hot, you know people gonna people gonna jack the swag and they they've been doing that with us for years. It's it's like as soon as we 
we jump on something because they know, you know what I'm saying? We, 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 we've we always kind of pushed the coach in and, and always. And that's that's just a Harlem thing. I mean, me and Jim always talk about that. We've always, being from Harlem, we've always had a nature to kind of like just outdo each other. We've always felt like we were the flyers to right. do it. So with that being said, who do we outdo? <laughs> each other. You understand? Because we are the flyers. That's how we felt. And that was a Harlem thing. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, I gotta go get this shit before Jim got it. Now, Jim, go get the next thing. I got to go get something before Joel's got it. Right. For him. You know what I mean? And we constantly doing that. We, but at the the world is kind of seeing all of this, but we just, we styling on each other. Guys, really, that's what was going on back like in the day. You look like you're in a jewelry competition like, right now at this yeah, Jim's moment. kind of technically. Nah. You got Wait, one more? Know, I'm light. I'm light. Nah, you bugging. Light. Stop playing over there. I'm light. You bugging. Hey, I'm just happy. We, we blessed right now, man. I'm just happy. You know what I'm saying? We in a good space. You know, we, we, we. We're about 20 years almost in this game strong. 25. To be know? sitting here with you is, is a blessing. You know, we we, we, water. we done <laughs> we done been through everything. You no know, right. between between me and Capo, you know what I'm saying, and our system, just different. We, we done been and we done seen, so, seen it. So many come and go. Everything, mm. bro. So to be here, to be, you know, shining, to be blessed, family, you know what I'm saying, in good spirit, good health, you know what I mean, and, and just talking to you it's a it's a blessing man okay but uh, let's have the bill o'reilly conversation let's do, do it do you look at somebody like me and re and think fuck when this dude was 17 18 years old he was having his brain filled with fantastic ideas about selling cocaine <laughs> and all of these crazy things that like you know like and and, and hey i don't blame you at all because it was probably going to happen either way but does it ever kind of occur to you like fuck i rapped about selling crack a lot I mean, we never encouraged anybody to do anything. Yeah. We only was telling our story. Right. And from the vibe we come from, that was all we saw at the time. That mm -hmm. was the only options that we had to make money for most of us. We, so. showed, we showed people a lifestyle, and the lifestyle was what we were going through. It was like, you seen it. Like, it, it was firsthand. Like, the issues were going on as the music was coming out. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, we probably wasn't selling drugs right then when we were, but we've all sold drugs. You know what I'm saying? We you see the whole, you know, the blood Alleg culture, how that came. Allegedly. And, I mean, nah, we we the the, the what do they call that? Nah, nah, Statue the of limitations. limitations is way over. Y'all straight. Know, we good. <laughs> Y'all straight. You know what I'm saying? If if but yeah, you at the end of the day, the blood shit, you seen how that we was getting into issues, all these issues that niggas is having. We did this. This mm. was there. This was I mean, you so you seen it it wasn't like niggas was just, you know, but like why didn't you sell crack then? Or did How you? do you know? I didn't, but I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to, you know, but yeah, the statute of limitations is over, but why didn't you turn out? Well, because I just, did, a, I didn't want to go through the whole the whipping question. process. I, didn't, I, I snorted a lot of coke in my life, and I sold a good amount of coke too, but I never really thought like, man, I got to power this shit up and turn it into crack. I heard you talking about it. I figured that was for but other I th people. But I think, I think, I think the real answer to that question is just your environment too, right? We all kind of like become yeah. products of our environments. And if I had had somebody really teach me how to cook crack, maybe I would have taken some of that coke and turned it into crack. Yeah, I mean, yeah. your lifestyle was different. You came up way different than we did. You came Facts. up in, in, in New Hampshire yeah. where they make timber, where they make Coke was probably out. more lucrative. Than, <laughs> coke was probably more lucrative in, in New Hampshire than well, crack we, was. Well, we you would definitely too. make some, but, I'm sure you know some people who made some I'm good a, money I'm going to tell you one of the reasons why I, I know New Hampshire so Timberlands did because I could take uh, ten dollars worth of crack in the city and turn that into fifty dollars in New Hampshire. Right. Mm. Well, to Syracuse, you turned it to a hundred. So you weren't just contributing to it by rapping about it. You were also <laughs> contributing to it by selling it. I don't know what you talking well, about. Well, telling you <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly, right. allegedly at allegedly. that time, <laughs> you heard I, I could make a, a triple up off of going to New Hampshire and selling it to people like yourself. It's a short four or five hour drive. <laughs> Is that far, New Hampshire? Yeah. From from about the four, city, about yeah. four and a half, four hours. The train, hours. The train ride That's is four great. hours. Yeah, the train ride is four hours. New Hampshire is a great place. Shout out to everybody from New Hampshire. Shout out to New Hampshire. Definitely. Yeah. But he, but for the people out there who don't know this, Jim came in equipped with some New Hampshire facts, such as the fact that the Timberland headquarters, I didn't know this, is located in New Hampshire. Yeah, you got a lot of outlets up there too. So like yeah. Nautica sweatsuits up there was like sixty dollars for top and bottom, and Nautica was real big back in the day for us. Nautica Naughty. was actually like Balenciaga the back Naughty in the day. Naughty sweats and all so that. You know what I mean? Finding that up there was like finding gold. <laughs> I was racking the Nautica back in the day. You feel me? Like Nautica, Tommy, Low in the nineties. What? Like yes. 
Yes, major threads. Come on. Major threads. What's the best fashion trends from back then, though, that we need to bring back that are deserving of a resurgence? I uh, think they done brought back so... They, damn, they, they didn't, didn't bring try. back a lot. I don't know one thing. I would like to see... There was these jeans called AJs back in the day. I would like to see how they would bring those back. Hmm. It's crazy because everyone in the dips had such an original style, and y'all are all style icons in different ways and you could just picture like you know cam in the pink pushing the line like that Joel's in the uh, american flag head to toe jimmy was the you are the first to wear on a mainstream level pants that fit clothes that fit <laughs> form fitting you had the biker swag and all that like you were the first in the trueies and the nudies no, and the, all that the, the, the like, trueies jim jim is a certified truey legend the first <laughs> the first the true legend i remember yeah. you brought the trues up shout out to my man slicey my man and slicey shout out to slicey come slicey, on slicey, slicey bring those in the house like yo these these 300 dollars jeans these mm. the new wave now, i remember 300 dollars jeans was like thousand dollar jeans and 1997, you mm. dig, or 1998, whatever it was, or or, or, or 2001, whatever. I, I lose years at this point, but he bring them in. They was like a little bell bottom at the top, and then he was a little slim, that slim. At the, flare, I was like, man, he was getting. He was like, nah, put these on. This is this is it. This that this that farmer shit. You need to be wearing. Niggas didn't even know what it was, but sure, sure enough. Everybody else was off the red monkeys and the avizus and all that. He was like, the, I had never even seen that before. But, but, that, I, but that that goes back to the thing, like we were saying, it's always about, like, you see how Capo had his man Slicey, so he put him on to something, and Capo come, Style he's it. on it, everybody like, all right, what's that, we jacking that, and it'd be the same thing, now I'm out looking for the next thing, what's that, it's just like, it's just a Harlem a lot thing. Of the, a lot of the Harlem styles shit. from Harlem is, you know the saying? styles from Harlem, a lot of the shit that we, but we get in front of the camera, so everybody... Yeah. That's what I say. I don't, we 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 just brought it to the game. Of course, we ain't sit here and say, yeah, everything was kind. Even things was brought to us. You know, maybe on a lower scale from people like even like Mike like and Mary. My up. man Slow brought Mike and Mary. I, I, everybody was doing ball. Now, I can't say this. No, no, first of all, Jewels, Slow, and Bucks was the first niggas I That's seen with these Mike and Mary jeans. I thought them shits was tech jeans because they was just like the Nike tech pants. They had a, <laughs> a zipper on the side like the Nike tech pants. I'm like, yo, what is those? He's like, yo, these, these this new wave Mike and Mary, they cost like 900 I and said, that's, I'm cool on those. That's I, when you, never, that's when it, I still never, that's never brought a pair of those. Tight. Jim wasn't going that tight. Jim ain't never get that's because you know when was, Mike first, it was like Dougie for that's me. when it was the Dougie kind of like type, but his joints had stretch in it. Right. So it was like, oh nah, we could do these but and it, still was, get, get was fresh. It weird to like see that happen where like you kind of were taking a risk by wearing tighter pants, but then you seen people just take it way too nah, far. Nah, because I'm I'm always I'm always one, one thing I know about us is you know not people, men. Right, yeah, men, crazy. women could do whatever. That's none of our yeah, business. Grown men yeah. took it way but then, too but far. But then, but then you see a lot of the people. You know what I mean, who, 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 who wasn't with it? It's just like everything else. Become with it. You know what I'm saying, like right. I said, we set the trend. So when we push something, it's, it's gonna get pushed because they like they doing it. It's it got to be. You know what I mean, we ain't gonna do nothing that ain't uncool. I mean, not to us. You know like, what I'm saying. What, what? So I, I think over the years, people kind of know that, and you know what I'm saying we look good and what we do. But just know, I could put on some shit that. Another nigga, Capo, same way, oh, we put on some shit that another nigga might just can't put on and, and, and it look kind of, you know what I'm saying? Spicy. I feel like the true test of time is how your fit picks age like 10 years later because all this shit from you guys back in the day 20 years ago still looks so fire. Facts. And then in comparison, like it's a frequent meme conversation on Twitter of being like, look at all of Joe Budden's old outfits. <laughs> no offense to him or anything, but like he knows, like he has some wild ass fits. You had the four X's. And I'm sure if we were to yeah, really dig in. Every, was everybody ain't have it. That's why the slogan Everybody is, wasn't fly like that. Man. They get fly and fly because it's like, hey, it ain't a, we did four X's too. So yep. it wasn't about, it's just about. Oh, you were the it's, king. It's, it's almost about the stance and the way you, I mean, even bandana. <laughs> Pac wore, everybody wore bandana. People wore bandanas before me, but it was the way, it was the lean, the tilt. We, we, like, the, we invented the, the long, the long t-shirts that came below your knee and all that. Like, that was, that, that started on 145th Street. Facts. Facts. Yeah, I was in the I was in the four X talls until you for a fat minute. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but you feel me? That was a look. But 
Y'all definitely always stayed ahead of the curve with the and and pushed the line. So you know, like I just said it the other day, man. We we even we, with even with Chrome Art, like Chrome I, I wasn't. Art, that's a fact. I, I was doing the rock and roll shit, and then my lady was like, "Oh, you want some rock and roll shit? This that high fashion rock and roll shit. This is super. They only Bar got a few. Jovi. They got a few few stores. You got to go to the store. Everything <laughs> tank tops in there was six hundred dollars. What year are we talking about? That you first fuck with that? Oh one. For real? They had oh, Chrome Hearts in 01? 01 yeah. or 02? One of them. Damn, right. when I read the history of Chrome Hearts, it did say that it's been around forever, but I didn't know that this rappers were fucking Chrome with it. That's crazy. Right Custom joint I had. Oh, shit. I made myself just, I bought the wallet chain, then I bought the pieces individually and had them put it on there. I, I bought this around that time, about, it's about. 15, 15 years old. I remember like 2004. Yeah, all the, all the joints. 2004, I hop on the fucking train for like the first time ever, and there's a kid sitting across from me, and his hat is about five fucking sizes too big. And I had never seen anybody do that before besides you guys, like specifically you in videos. Remember you would be rocking the hat so it would cover your ears and shit? Yeah, right, it was like 05. That was the best. Huh? It was like 05. 05? Yeah, right. What? I'm mad bad with dates. Me too. <laughs> Me too. I'm sitting up here. I'll be niggas be like, this niggas would be like, yo, he li- that's why I'm saying dates. Up, I'll be nigga- fucking up years and all that. Like, <laughs> niggas all gonna the time. say he lying. If I start saying dates, they gonna say he lying because it ain't gonna match up my dates. But they know what it is. I'm doing right. an interview. It's, it's, good? It's, it's, it's there. Right. But was that ever a conscious wow. thing to just like wear the hat big enough that it would cover your ears? Um, I don't know. It was all just a, everything we did was just right. swag. So when you put it on, it was just how it looked it. How I mean, we just <laughs> just went for it. Even like now, like like like. When we put the scarves over and we made them hoodies, or if I just throw my my hoodie like this and put the hat, they gonna start wearing it. I may go like this and put the bud bag right here. You know what I'm saying? It's just swag. You know what I mean you just got to put it on? We out here. You know what I mean? What's what we doing? Right. Are there any fashion trends that you don't like that we should know about though? Besides the tight pants. The skinnies. I like Capo. Capo, because Capo's good at that. What's he over the go, line, he man? You might go viral. Listen, you can't. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> see, see, first of all, you can't say what's over the line. Everybody <coughs> everybody has their own taste in fashion. Facts. And there's some things that I won't do that other people will do. Yeah. And there's a lot of things I won't do that other people will do. So what I consider fashion might not what you could be considered Facts. fashion. That's why I, I like to call it splashing instead yeah. of fashion. You heard? Mm. On, and it's a mm. lot of joints we see other niggas in. Like, shout out my man Bloody Osiris, um, my man Sober Walter, mm. dudes from Harlem, you know what I'm saying, putting on, like, just modeling. They killing them it. Them right fashion now. guards right now. Right. Like, they be they, rocking they, the f- high yeah. fashion shit with no, the pants, crazy. the boots that, that are this big. They, they look like Transformers. They, nah, they, they killing it though. They super lit and they getting super rich. They it's like true, yeah. real fashion guards, you heard? But nah, they facts. come from Harlem and they really, he really come from, he really come from out the out the projects. Like, so I'm proud when I see. Bloody all over the world. Like Word. when I when Shout I got to do bloody. the, the, the uh, off white fashion show in Paris Walter. last year, he was on the runway with me and he was giving me pointers on what I need to do because this is what he does and shit like that. Yeah. So I felt like it was it, it felt good to be like, damn, my young boy is is, is schooling me mm-hmm. to the game right now. Like, bloody I, bloody his brother too. He got his brother doing it. Bloody Dior. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I mean, shout out to them, man. Osiris I, I, in every single campaign. Every, yeah, they got you him. Can't, you yeah, can't yeah, miss yeah, him. Yeah, we just did, like, it, did yeah. it. I did it. We had it. I had to do one way for the That's, that's that young couple right, right there. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy, right? I did a, a pick like that, mm-hmm. and I, I kind of like did that, and he's standing behind me with the hat on, like me and Capo, like. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of like, yo, how Ka- he was looking at the picture like, how Kappa was standing? He don't smoke, so he could have had a blunt, but he was like, you know what I'm saying? He was, he was getting, that's my nigga though. But all right, it's so like my standard for clothing used to always be, and I feel like this has kind of gone out the window, that I don't want to wear anything that's going to like massively disadvantage me if I get in a fight. But that's why I always felt like I didn't, when people had the big fucking gauged out ears, just rip that. I was shit. like, somebody's gonna dig their finger in there and rip that shit up, oh, tear mean, my earlobe in half. With the big, ho- with the big holes in it. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. I know that probably wasn't cool That's to y'all, was, but like, like a, that was the was cool like thing. A white boy, yeah. skateboard, biker type thing, right? I'm glad yeah. I missed that. That was crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, but why are you? You was worried about that? You get into fights a lot. Yeah. Yeah. We but that biker world is this heavy fight game, y'all. Yeah. Money. Pegs and all, all right, that. So they stealing pegs and shit. How nice are you with this bike shit? Damn, I was all right, but like I was I, always more like of like an entrepreneur. Right now, on YouTube, you're going to be popping. You could see some stuff that you'd be like, oh, okay, he did ride a fucking bike for his whole life. But, I mean, I was never like the best pro or whatever. I started like this BMX website that became like the biggest thing in like 
2006, and then that just kind of like became my whole life before this shit. I mean, you get busy. You'll see him. You're gonna be like, he get busy. I can pop a wheelie. He be be a modest right now, man. He he could throw down. I'm gonna look you up soon. I get off. Nah, he nice with it. He nice with it. He got. When's the last time you popped a wheelie? Me? Yeah. We try every summer they, on the bikes. Because it is like a Harlem thing, and especially now with the big bikes. Now they got these. I'm about to say, what's nah, these new bikes? Like the, what, bikes. All called? type of bikes in Harlem. Uh, they not BMX no more. What That's they used call to be the, the shit the now. The big like bikes. The, the, the they fucking... Get... Uh, the, the um the SEs and all yeah. them shits. So they I, just be doing the craziest wheelies When I used to ride bikes, shit. there was a bike called the Elf. The Elf? Hmm. The Extra Light Frame. Okay. Okay. What, what, what was your bike though? You was a I was a, I was a mongoose. I had an S and M. I'm telling you what S&M it was. was the bike brand. cost six hundred dollars. This the shit you could lift it up with your, with your hand. It, was, yeah. it had Elf on the side of it and shit like that. That was back it was, then. Or that's it was a racing later. bike. This was in the '80s. You guys ever go up yeah. to the Mulaley Skate Park up in the Bronx? Who? No, yeah. Famous old wooden skate park up there. No, we we didn't do the, we didn't get to the skate park. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was at the Rucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely, it was at the Rucker. We definitely got to the Rucker. There's probably a, a skate I park a right there. I played a little handball in my day. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was. Oh, he did a cut like my brothers and all of them. I got four older brothers or three older brothers. They all played basketball. Like Com did the. I call them the normal sports. Right. Like I I, I would be on the side playing handball. With the little ball, like yeah. the actual handball? No, nah, the little ball is a paddle ball because that's harder. No, like no. We, we call that handball the, the, out the here. Blue, that's a, the blue ball. But it's like small, though. But in New York, yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. every park has motherfuckers has just playing court, handball. Yeah. Yeah. That's a prison yeah. game out here. Well, his like, whole, yeah, yeah, his yeah, whole family, game everywhere. His yeah, whole family prison, is championship yeah. bowlers. If you, if, <laughs> yeah, I could bowl. His I'm whole nice. family, though. like They're really like pro bowlers and shit like that. Like Yeah, I'll get in. I could play pool. I could shoot some pool. So I'm about to start up a, 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 a celebrity pool tournament. Oh, I've thought about that, honestly, Yo, before. Yo, come on. Let's get I into it. I feel like people like to watch pool. Yeah, pool. They just want to watch people that they know could, who it is. Look, you could have a whole podcast over a pool game. People talk shit over. It's almost like, you know what I'm saying? You know what it's like? It's like celebrity boxing. But it's not boxing, but they're playing pool. But they, yeah. I mean, that's still pretty entertaining, right? Yeah. And if you have of, famous people playing pool, they're going to fuck with it. But it's shit talking, too. It's a, yeah. it's a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I think that would be dope. Come on. Puel Santana, you feel me? Puel Yo, the pun god right here. Oh, the punstigator. What the fuck? I don't know about that one. That one's <laughs> All right, because this is one thing I, I, I noticed about y'all is that you guys, like, I remember when the video came out of Jim Jones getting into it at, at the, the local gym, the LA Fitness, I believe. And I was like, damn, you know? To me, uh-huh. like Jim Jones is like royalty. Jim, Jim, but get, Jim gets into whatever you want. Here he is, like happy to still be at the regular Alleged, ass gym. He don't give a fuck. And uh, you know, gets into a situation or whatever, sneaking behind the desk to grab a charger or something, but that never got resolved. Um with, I, I, with LA Fitness. <laughs> Gosh. I mean, I, I, I think it's one thing it I up. say, I'm super proud of Jim. Jim has calmed down a lot. He's definitely I just want to work out, man. I don't, work out. <laughs> I don't go to gyms for no smoke, man. I go to the gyms to work out, free my mind. So, you know, if you see me if you see me getting into anything in the gym, it wasn't my fault because I ain't in there for that. Yeah, because I always call it getting money and I always gotta explain to people that no, I'm I'm talking about working out. Like I gotta explain it every time I say it. It almost makes me like not want to say it, even though I think it's really good slang. You in the gym getting money? Yeah, I took that from you. And then like when you're around like non Dipset fans, you gotta explain that getting money means working out. <laughs> well, yeah, when you in the gym, yeah, getting money. But getting, getting that moolah. Getting money means getting money when you outside of the gym. So that's everywhere in jail yeah. too. Right, but I just like getting money as like the metaphor for it because it's realistically like the better you make yourself look or the better that you feel physically, there is money that follows behind nice. that in the long run. You know, well, health is wealth, so yeah. you know. Yeah, y'all got your own language though, and y'all really <laughs> inspired the vernacular of the entire like the slang dictionary of the world. That's y'all. Y'all don't even like that's crazy because y'all don't even know the half. Like we like when we was coming up in the in the thick of all the dipset, like we really had like. It's kind of crazy because we had like our own language, like me. Squale, you feel me? Like me, me like, yeah. well is not. It I got mean, way like, deeper than got, that. This is what I'm trying got, to say. Like you got, got, got own it was, language. It, it was almost got like got Spanish. Own... Like it was like yeah, it got like, it got real technical. <laughs> right, like, <laughs> like, to our point to where only maybe two <laughs> members knew what the fuck was going on. Word really. up. Like damn, you're too deep for the other homies. It's like, you, you, like, you you had one that was like the broad, like I. You know, everybody kind of know, then it start getting tighter and tighter, tighter and tighter. Like, the, I mean, so to where it got like, to a point to where I, me and Jim and Cam could be in a circle and, and, and Zeke and just talk and nobody outside of that may know what the fuck I we're I remember about. there was a bar where one of y'all <laughs> used the word doy. 
And I remember like really digging deep into Google trying to figure out what the <laughs> fuck doy meant. I and, think and like Cam said that, right? Yeah, and I think it meant like dip of the year potentially or some <laughs> shit. Like that was like the best explanation I saw, but I never could even like figure it out. And it's like such an awkward sounding syllable that you never heard before, right? Doy. I ain't hear that one. A doy. You, you don't know what I'm talking about. It's probably maybe, doy, maybe it's made up. Let's even talk about a doy when we used to say that shit when we was younger. A doy. Yeah, it's a, or, What's or a like doy. doy. Like doy. 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 Yeah, doy. 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 It's obvious. I mean, doy. I'm gonna be real with you. I haven't thought about this in probably like ten like years. Duh. It's almost like duh, but doy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. No I'm duh. No doy. That That's what I thought it was. You remember yeah, Mob yeah. Deep with the done shit? Done. Done. Oh, nah, uh, Queens, that was, bring that's done back. First of all, me and Cam done. was heavy on the done language. You heard? <laughs> Everything was done language for a couple months with me and Cam. What up, done, done? It's my done right there. You heard? Done. Done. Let me get a leak. Yo, Super done, you heard? I got to the point to where I thought they were just making up Nah, they was going day, like, crazy, you know the done data and all that. They was wilding <laughs> on that done language, yo. No, I heard that, That you know, they say nah, done. Even, they, you even, know, the, even the Wu, Wu-Tang yeah, had oh, crazy yeah. lingo. Because they were off that dust. Nah, Wu-Tang had this you know, crazy got lingo. Everybody got their reasons for, what, <laughs> for, for, for why they do, I guess, what they do. But, you know what I'm saying? I just think if you're smoking dust that you got to come up with your own dust language. Nah, but every neighborhood had their own had their own lingo. No you, matter you, where you did go. Did you live through the dust era? You're did too young I, for I, that, we, right? We sold we sold dust through the dust era. Wu Tang and them used to come to our projects and buy wild dust. That's when Bart Simpson used to be out, I believe it was. And then used to old old would go up by Cam Block because Cam Cam Block they used to have wild dust up there. That was so definitely. That, a- so they used to they used to go through old Cam neighborhood and shit like that, buying dust too and shit like that. Like Wu Tang used to be in Harlem all the time about that dust. Not saying that they smoked any of it, but but that was against the rules. You didn't t- you didn't dabble. Who? Nah, we don't smoke dust. We smoke weed, nigga. We don't we sell drugs. We I had we homies don't use drugs. I fucked up off the dust in the crib for I've years straight. We from like a that, different era. I know a few of my friends that got lost in dust for years too. Like hit a yeah, hit a dust really... blunt and never came back for yeah. years. To be yeah. honest, if you smoked weed. In LA, with some essays, at any point in your life, you for sure got dusted. dusted. Like whether you wanted to or not, like it was a thing. So that, so that, so the Friday joint was kind of real. Oh, one thou wow! No, that that's based in reality to the point where I ain't gonna lie and say that. One thou wow is wild. (laughs) (laughs) I'm taking that. I'm taking that. Taking that back to the east. Jim, I I, I've taken so much from you. One thou wow. One thou wow, funky baby. Funky. Let me get a light. So let's let's revisit this though we were just light having that, the con- light that, yeah. give me your earliest, me get a light to somebody g- give me your right there, right earliest there. recollections of the beginning of no homo I just because this I is a very important hand. thing to us okay there it is we got we got to run through the history of no homo and pause and how this evolved what's your earliest memory of no homo that's way before us rapping that's like a harlem thing like this running through harlem before any anybody before uh her her j and them say pause all that that was just going on in harlem since high school right no homo. Whoa, you bugging right now. We used to actually bring you up on charges and you could you could bring the court about some of the shit shit that was going on and shit like that. Pause you court? Yeah, Y'all had pause court? It was, yeah, it was definitely, uh, uh, yeah, but back then it was yeah, no homo court and you need a lawyer and all that. Like, yeah, you're going to need some representation because that was nasty what you can just we, said. Can we do that in the office, bro? I think can it's a have, brilliant idea. Can we yeah. have no homo court? That's Sucks he's going to sue us if we do it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but shit, that's how that's how deep it goes back. That's a high school thing, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like, w- w- was there any like phrase that people were using in particular that made you feel like that was essential that you had to be like creating a whole new language to call them out? As far as what, like, just people saying shit that sounded gay? Oh, I mean, shit, it was no homo. That was it. Like, if you said something that sounded crazy, that's what that's that was. That was our response to it. And keep in mind, this was a different time. Right. Like, right now, you just can't go around slinging that type of. Uh, Terminology and they might because try to, uh, dude, Jim, back in the cancel day, cancel you, shit like listening that. to your old ass shit. You definitely have some bars that it's a good thing that people, <laughs> people aren't like paying super close attention because yeah. Jim had a faggot ad lib that he was dropping on oh, a pretty man. consistent basis uh-uh. when he was talking shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> which one is this? Yeah. He would just say faggots mm-hmm. as an ad lib. Oh, oh, the, just oh, to let y'all know, like, he word. didn't like y'all. Up. All right, so keep let's keep it, let's keep it a buck. I, I'm from I am from the 80s with homosexuality and shit like that was looked upon a little bit different. Yeah. Right. So when I started to rap, it still was a reflection of the 80s. What's going on now wasn't what's going on back then. Right. What I was saying was normal in society. It's not normal now. 
You, well, am I right for saying it? Maybe not, you dig? But that's just a reflection of what the sign of the times was. I wasn't saying nothing that nobody else wasn't saying yeah. coming from back then. For sure. You understand what I'm saying? So I, we got to clear things up a little bit nowadays and shit like that. Yeah. I don't need no activists on my yeah, line yeah. and shit like that. It's crazy you would say that in an ad lib, though, because you like, to, in my opinion, one of the ad lib goats. No, of all he's time. the ad lib like, king. Yeah, like, you feel me? Like, he's, he he's started, started, I think, I think Jim, Jim, it got to a Shout point. To Slick Rick and Tupac for that. Jim definitely, it got to, it, it was at a point one time where his ad libs was like, just like it was part of the record. It's still part of the record, but it was heavy. Nah, part but of now, the now, now you more, you more, you more on lyrics now. Mm -hmm. Then you, you, I don't think you concentrate as much on ad libs as you, you, you used to back in the day. That shit was like another verse. It that was. shit was a verse inside a verse. It was helping it was. me out, right? It was, it was a verse out. inside of a verse. You know what I'm saying? It was a time was that still, I couldn't really was. catch the flow to, to really. Get my balls so in, them, so them it was blink, just like blink the ad libs was actually my balls. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, right. the ad lib was crazy. Like, yeah, yeah. All right, so we got but, it. And that, the ad libs would rhyme with each other too. But, right. it's just a part, but, but like I said, that's just one another thing that just goes back to Harlem and us just naturally being swaggy. Like for him to, you know what I'm saying, to just just figure that out and and, and do that. You know what I'm saying? Going back to I, right, we need some more credit for for music. <laughs> where it's at nowadays because I was just listening to the radio even I just heard the Nas record shout out to Nas he got another dope album mm. you know what I mean the Drake and 21 Savage record yo using samples the way we used to use them it's like the nah. thing. Everybody, it's the wave of the, the Drake even went even off forget on that how dip forget. I'm talking about from, from drill. He went from wild drill. on that dipset sample. He went teriyaki saki. Oh yeah, now they went kawasaki. <laughs> that album, Waki, that, that album nigga was went fire. dumb. That wow. album is straight fire. Right, straight fire. That 21 and Drake album. Mm. And I'm saying I'm almost, I'm almost, but I can't say it's better than the future in, in Drake album. I'm not gonna say that. It's not, but. It's right there. No, it's it's, it's up bar there. Bar-wise, though. It's up there. Bar-wise. They, they did that. Yeah. They did that on a professional they level. Went, I'm going to say that. They went off. They went off. Like You, you, know ready, I mean? for, you ready for the current events question? Yeah, I'm always ready for big, whatever. Big, big old controversy. And and I don't, I don't, I, I'm, I'm like, going to shoot him bail right out the gate. Is yeah. I don't think 21 Savage meant to offend anybody, and I think he's a respectful dude, and that he didn't 21 Savage, mean right, for it to come across a certain way, but the conversation became, is Nas relevant? Oh, we had man. this conversation in the car. Man, but it's like you can't even have no opinions out here nowadays. That's, and exactly. and they so quick to misconstrue everything you everything say. Everything you say. Because I don't believe that he was trying to say it in, in a, that light. In a malicious way. He's, he's, not, he's not that he kind wasn't. of guy. He yeah. wasn't saying it in a malicious way at all. And I want you to keep saying what you're saying because you like you you good at articulating. So go ahead. <laughs> nah, I'm just, nah, good. You good. You, you good. I don't want to cut you off. Go ahead. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm just looking at what what Twenty One Savage was saying. I don't think that he meant it as what people were taking it as and shit like that. Because in today's society, with the younger generation, these kids are very lit out here, and they put lit and relevant in the same thing when it, it's two different things exactly. to me. Is what I I'm think, saying and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, I think they should have found out what Twenty One's definition of relevant is too. Mm -hmm. These are that's why I say when you ask questions you gotta be real particular because he's just talking and people don't know and that we live in a world where people And we're are not saying judging. Nas is not lit out here but you understand yeah, what I'm it, saying it, to the younger generations of what they consider to be lit. He has a right Nas you know said something I mean? back in the days he said Cam is a very dope artist but I don't like Cam's album is trash talking about the Come Home with me album. He said this on the radio. He was bugging. But what I'm saying is, it was it was stupid his opinion. album. That was one of the but best it, but albums. But look, of it was that his era. opinion, yeah, and true, everybody, fair, fair. and nobody really. This is the thing That's I don't like is because because it. because it was <laughs> my thing is. Hey, Cam came back at him too. No, though, no, no. But this, <laughs> this is the only yeah, thing I don't like because because if Nas would have said something about Twenty One, nobody because they feel like Nas got a right, right, because of who he is, and I feel like. They feel like because 21 ain't Nas, he don't got a right to talk about Nas. And that's the fucked up thing in the world we live in. Because we all have a right to our opinion. But don't because you think we all do it every day from the comments we make. Just to somebody commenting saying that he didn't have a right to make that comment is you commenting on his shit. But and, and you understand what I'm saying? So the world is so fucked up and crazy. It's just like... You got to kind of just... The whole like, reason ah. why people want to jump on that, though, is because they know that the reality is is that the young kids and shit don't have enough respect for the generations that came before them. I don't think that 21 is a great example of that, but that is like the sentiment that made that shit go so viral nah, is that people look at those young I, kids I like see, they don't have enough respect. I see 21 give like all of... 
artists that came before him, the legends, shit like that. They yeah, he, all the time. Like he's 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 one of those artists. And I just want to say one thing. Like Nas Nas been Nas been rapping since the barbecue. Yep. He, you know what I mean, like when he said I was twelve, I went to jail for snuffing, snuffing Jesus. Jesus. Mm. I went to hell for snuffing Jesus. Whatever. He, I, like so to s remember that bar from when I was in high school and we was going crazy about who the fuck. This Nas nigga, this nigga is crazy. And then fast forward to 2022, and that nigga is still busting albums. And that's 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 being relevant to me. You dig? Like yeah. you got a fan base that can uphold you for so many years. That shows a lot of relevance. Now, yeah. in today's 100%. society, these kids that consider being lit is a whole nother world now. It's Nas out here is lit you for all these young nigga, niggas and all that type of not. shit. You you see Nas with with Meek Mills, do you see Nas with East G and all these? No, that's Nas is a legend. Exactly. He's an icon, so his shit is considered exactly. a little bit different. But I do believe he's super. It's relevant. almost too like and relevant to who you dig, and you I don't mean? think that twenty one minute. Like no different than what I'm just saying. No, they took like him out of context. They did. They did. They, did. they ran with it. They, 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 they ran yeah. with it. That was an internet. That was an internet run. They did a whole marathon but, with that one. But right there. but for the but for the few that are still here that get from errors and errors and errors, like when I'm like a Fat Joe, like you got to got hands down. You got to give give some people the what they deserve. Like you got the Jada Kiss. Like people are still here from errors and errors and errors, and we still seen so many come and go. It's hard to still be here in this climate of exactly the music. it's one thing to be lit in this early stage of your career where you you just came out and you're putting all this hot music and you're yes. and you're that guy 21 to his credit has been that guy for damn it's near like, like 10 it, it's years just now. like now go to the go to the, the question of the best rapper when you get into that that's why it's a lot of technical especially now in this day because you got all these south dudes that may not be literally like all right yes eminem is lyrically but i get into the car and i may Listen to Jeezy more. A lot of people were oh, not ever. But the 18 year old that was listening like, to Eminem is not the 18 year old listening to Eminem this year. You dig that? No, it's 18 year olds listening to somebody else who totally we know just as dope as Eminem. Exactly. So they listening to Drake. They listening to 21. They listening to Lil Baby. They listening to these people. Of course, these are the people that they are going to consider the greatest rapper ever because these people are That's telling their story. So how do you justify? You know I mean? like, so so when you say that, you have to either go through time frames. You can't just go through who's the greatest but, of all. You can't. In, in some way, but, when then, you, but then there's some that's no, no, you can't. There's some that stand at exceptionally no, no, no. well. Yeah. No, no, you, 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 can, you, 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 you can't. Like you can't. You can't. Exactly. The, the ones that did, that, that were the able to, like, the ones that exactly. were, were able to embody like, everything. Captivating you know music, like, like, I mean, like this shit is just. No, I agree. I agree. But I'm talking about like when you're talking about just the relevancy and those type of things, not the super elite. The super elite are the super elite. That those are the ones that that could make hits. Have lyrics, have all these things, and, and they just embodied they come, it. And, and they those come are back out, it's, it's, super still, it's super lit. Exactly. No matter what. Always. Yeah, but the thing you is, this saying? everything you're saying is true, and I agree with that. But y'all have always had, regardless of the style, regardless of the flair and all the extra shit, which is amazing, which helped define who y'all are, regardless of being the first New York rappers bouncing on the Dirty South tempo and all that shit, regardless, y'all always kept it bar heavy, punchline heavy. Cadences, syllables. He a rap nerd. Yeah, yeah. No, I study that shit. You feel me? <laughs> like, and y'all do that. Do you feel like this era nowadays? There's that's somewhat of a lost art, or do you? Because I mean, it still exists, but you kind of have to dig a little deeper for that. Do you feel like that's somewhat of a lost art? I mean, I don't think it's so much of a a lost art. I actually kind of see it on the resurgence out here. Like it's starting to come back on yeah. heavy as heavy. far as people making music of. Substance making music that got bars, but when it comes to music, music evolves all the time. It's the same thing I've been saying. Like it's the it's the age difference. Like when we were Dipset, there were people that were shunning us for the music that we were making because they didn't understand it. But, but that you, was who we were. Perfect. Time. Oh, hold on, I gotta say right, this. Yeah. Just and we gotta start because the South, you know, they're very accent driven. They're very. We gotta stop taking this method that just because you don't understand what somebody's saying, they're not saying nothing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? No, them and and that's just a proven wall. fact. Now, if you listen to something and say, oh, I don't know what he... Do you not know what he's saying? Or is he not saying nothing? Okay, but you he, understand what I'm saying? Because those are two different things. Because there's a lot of... I listen to Future songs. I listen to certain dudes. And you got some time where I did here, but it's time but then I'm you like, go oh, down, nah, but them then boys you go, in. Little you go there and stuff, and they singing that in. shit word for word. Well, that's yeah, why yeah, mumble rap in. is a fucked up term, and people shouldn't say yeah, mumble rap nah, like that. Yeah, nah, it's like niggas be going in, bro. Just because you don't 
understand what they're saying don't mean they're not saying nothing. Do you look at drill as a dumbed down version of the hip hop that you grew up on? I don't drill look at no music down. as drill. no dumbed down version of nothing. bars in the drill music. Yeah, cause you got I don't know if you listen in, like oh, you dig. Yeah. Them <laughs> niggas is dropping bars feel, in that drill music. No, it's like a it, different it, tempo. Right. It's something that we not duty used low. To. But this has <laughs> this D dot drill music has shots the did a drill music has brung New York back when it comes to mm. a sound and Should energy and Should these young generation have been keeping us up to the point that we're able to get back in the marketplace as New York as a whole like all right they lit, they lit the fire for our comeback that we having right now where people can now listen to New York music and start putting in rotation with all the other music and things like that. Like it's a, it's a sound now. There's a lot of older people that don't understand it. Didi Osama. And they fucking with y'all too. You feel me? Like they all from my hood, Sugar yeah. Hill. That's right. my, that's my hood. It's a, it's a, it's a lot, it's a lot of drill rappers in, in, in Harlem, all through, all through Harlem. But do you do you feel comfortable hopping on those beats, or is that oh, something? Oh yeah, I just, that... did, I just did the, the, the DJ drama. Uh, right. album I did in the beginning of this year is with a lot of younger rappers it's on compiled there, yeah. with younger rappers from all over but most of them is targeted in New York drill rappers and things mm. like that that I, I have on it Dusty Locaine, Ross Swiss, mm. Ditta, uh, Connie Diamonds um, and they can't say uh, nothing to us enough said uh, uh, shout out to Peso he's not a drill rapper but I put I'm tell uh, the whole generation of rappers from all over even in Detroit shout out to Peasy like PZ, Solo on the West Coast. Shouts to Boston. Shouts to Nux. Like I, I, I captured sounds from all over, but the sound is sonically pretty much the same with the younger generation. You know what I mean? So whether it's drill, whether it's that Detroit sound, the sound, whether it's that Midwest sound, like sonically, you could kind of mix all them songs together while you're in the club. And I feel like they all, you have areas from answering what you said where. Some of them, yeah, are not saying nothing. Just like in real rap with bars, you have niggas that was trying to really rap but wasn't shit. saying shit. They yeah. wasn't adding I, up. They wasn't we could, nice. We could, so don't we get it twisted. It's a list of niggas that wasn't saying yeah, shit. So at like, the this end of the day, you, 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 in every nothing. ever, whether it's drill, maybe what would Jim's saying, you have artists that are, you know, maybe not as good, but then you have artists that are really saying some shit in that, you know what I'm saying? In that genre. Specific genre. Yeah. You gotta, You got to give it up and you got to respect it. Me... It's just like, I look at it like being in the house, listening to oldies and goodies, and I mean, it sounded good sonically, musically. It, it To me, their music sounds good sonically, musically. Then the more and more I hear it, I be, oh, they and they saying some shit. Right. You understand know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's like food. You got to give it a try. You can't just always be so biased and so negative towards something that you're not accustomed to. You or, fuck with or, Ice Spice? Or, I spice. She got a dope I, I, I'm waiting. Sometimes I like to wait. I like for me. I like Definitely to wait. A dope record, for yeah. me, I like to wait with everything. She got star power too, man. You know She's saying? very compelling to look she at. She got a dope record. I'm for sure a munch off rip. I can't even. Yeah, right. Right. Like, and I don't mean I'm to pause, pause when she you say that. I don't mean to pause when you term, say that. Like, she created a terminology. Like yeah, it's a, she got a few factors that's in her corner right now when it comes to. Music actually, and her being a female. Dope. I just want to see. I want to see the. I, I the just hate giving people so much at. At once, and she's already got it. Got it. I just want to see where it goes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and right now, it's just one record. It's super dope. She got this, the star power, like you said, but right now, it's just one record. So, me, I always, that for me is never just, I could never give a full opinion or analysis on. You know what I'm saying? Now, right. she you know I mean? Or she maybe next year we'll see how it goes and where it's at. Then I could give yeah. you a full Ice Spice she analysis she on she what she's doing. Wait till, wait till the album drops. Yeah, yeah, something like that. She's like, on lava cake right now. She's going she crazy that. Because a lot of people didn't expect Cardi to be where she's at. Right. You know what I'm saying? They count her so, out for a I see that a lot. I see that with my boy Wayne. I see that with Wayne. A lot of people weren't Wayne fans at one point, and Wayne was turning niggas fans day British by day with his bars love. at that time when he was doing what he was doing. And, and now you know that's what like saying? classic lyrical hip hop exactly. shit. Whereas at the time they were treating it like it was some fucking you know anti hip hop shit when mm -hmm. Wayne was coming out, you know. But he also converted a lot of people and made a lot of people Street. realize that's that, that the down streets, south though. rapper could be that lyrical. After know? them squad up mixtapes, it was a it was and a rap. Ti did that too at that time. Ti was a and Ludacris. Ludacris mm -hmm. was super underrated, even though he was doing a lot of them, you know, Busta Rhyme type videos and, 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 and records. Luda was going crazy on the bars from start to finish. Them chicken and beer, them intros. Yeah. Luda had some of the illest intros ever on, on, on his Luda album. The first, about Luda crazy. first rapper brought his own airplane. Huh. Wow. Back, super back then, like super years ago. Before we get off the drill, though, 
do you guys worry at all about the violence associated with a lot of the New York shit coming out? Worry about violence, period. Mm. Means he's gonna put violence on drill. The hip hop yeah. community is filled up with violence, as we can see what's going on. Only thing different about the drill is not adding more violence. Only thing different is they're just talking about it extremely more and extremely blatant and extreme. That's the only thing they're doing. They're, they're talking about it to a level to where it's like people can't believe it. And it's like, wow. And it's really, they, you know, allegedly they're saying some of these things are really happening. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, and so, the diss and the dead shit too, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I it's don't know very it's very none of that. distasteful. Let's just say that. Yeah, you know? too, too. It's, very, it's very distasteful, but that's not the reason for the violence. It's yeah. violence going the violence all is over there. this motherfucker. You, you know what I'm saying? But it's what, it's getting amplified through the music too because there's this thing going on right now called the naughty bop that I don't know if you heard the, about but, 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 but it's I, like a dance that's like mocking bro, some kid who got killed by stabbed. That. But we just just keep they old they young kids like I said they they old we need to stop antagonizing that period because you know what I mean like j, 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 just period like just the, you know the, what I'm saying the, the social media and all these devices are very uh, uh, like uh, 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 these it's are what the, the media kids are bro it's not yeah, them it's, it's so much it's so because they trying to do it for the media so if y'all really want to keep it funky they trying to do it to to, to 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 get viral and go on sites like this so the more it gets amplified here and, and things we we got to play our part but y'all got to play our part too and accept responsibility yeah, we haven't it, uh really like reported on that right no not, but, not you specifically no but, but i'm saying the thing about like, that that's you know unique is that it keeps getting removed from youtube because it's being like viewed but as bullying said, and harassment that, like the naughty but we don't even need to promote like right, that okay, shit yeah. like you understand what i'm saying yeah, like I that shit even, is I and that goes for even though they from our side i wouldn't even promote it if it was from their side who they talking about on that side they don't need to be talking about Killing nobody on that side. If somebody dead too, these people got mothers, fathers, other people outside of the the, the gang and what y'all dealing with that got to hear this shit and and, and deal yeah, with it. So we just all need why. to take heed into that. You know what I'm saying? And kind of like you know, I can't stop nobody from doing nothing. If I could, I would. You understand know what I'm saying? I tell, oh, but get y'all niggas money and get to this game and, and live out y'all dream, be famous, and you understand? Know what I'm That's what they need to be doing. But things happen in the streets that you know you can't just tell people, yo, stop. Right. And that's life. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? As fucked up as it is. A lot of things are, are fucked up, bro. So would you try to encourage a lot of these well, young I just did. To... I just did. Just yeah. now. Both sides. So I'm just stop. Both sides. If y'all if y'all can't stop. You know what I'm saying? Figure out how to get y'all money. Don't stay away from each other. If it's that bad, stay away from each other. Y'all know where y'all don't need to be. So y'all don't clash into each other. Stay away from each other. Get y'all money. And and be successful and and you know it's not even in the street it's in this industry it's in this game like it's but it's it, nasty it, outside we need we need to really too, sit though. back and, and and try to figure some shit out it's mm -hmm. it, it's scary it's scary for for artists like I, like me and Joel to, to move around out here like it, the comfortability is no more like it's only paranoia out here and the more paranoid we are to we to feel we safe who we are and that's kind of crazy when there was a time where things were a little bit different for rappers and artists like ourselves and things like that so it's well, you think it's a lot more dangerous now perfect example i don't want, yeah they, i mean I it's think, always been so. dangerous but it, it's it's heightened at this point like mm -hmm. you know social what i mean it's the worst y'all ever seen it, 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 it social media yes. is, is allowed it to be and everything more accessible so people know where people are at people right. know how to get to people people know so much more people have so much more information so it, it, it makes people are not dumb they can get to you easier you understand what i'm saying you got a lot of, the internet's become smarter and it's like people just got stupider and just, you know what I mean, are doing the, the illest shit like, or just acting like they don't give a fuck. If I mean, some niggas don't give a fuck and if that's your motto and how you choose to live, let's see, you know how it's going to end if, up if, and, you know what I mean? If there was a is, young I artist, like, you know I mean? say there's a young artist, you want to sign them, but they on that shit in their music, bro, some gotta, real demon listen, shit. Listen, bro. Would you my, be able to nephew, get behind it? My, my nephew is duty low. He's signed That's to, your nephew? That's my, like, nephew. Like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Shout out duty low. I mean, potentially. It's, it's, yeah, he's, saying he's with me. I see FMF, but I don't get into my thing. Is I'm not. I tell all of them. I don't, I don't want to feel like I got to pick. And I don't. That's why I just. You know what I mean? But you can't tell me I can't help my nephew either. Mm. I'm trying. I'm trying to get show him a better way so he could feed his family. I don't condone. But let's not take away from the. I'm trying to pull him. What I'm doing. But people don't see it like that. I'm trying right. to pull. I'm trying to pull him away see, you, and out of out of everything that's, that he's. That's you personally vested in that, right? So, but even some of the ones that I'm not. I, I know. I know that. But saying? aside from that, let's not take away from the artistry. You dig? Like these. Like there was a time we were making music and we were living kind of risky. Exactly. At the same time, we would have hated for the label to be like, yo. 
we not don't we don't like how you're moving around in the streets. We Too gotta we can't you. offer you all a offer you a deal because because it wasn't a, it's about the music. It's about to be the, fair though, you guys beefed with other famous rappers. Nowadays, it's like a lot of times it's like famous rappers or like well known rappers beefing with totally unknown people, or it's just like young ass kids rapping about like other young ass kids. And that's when, for me as a rap fan, as I get older, it gets kind of harder to stomach listen to it sometimes. You know, I mean. We're older, they're younger. I mean, all we can do is try to figure out a solution that can help what's going on because it's nasty outside. Like, But we can't turn away from these youngsters. They're the next generation and they're creating the next music. And we got to figure a way out how to meet that at a medium and things like that. Like, I I, I believe labels should hold themselves very responsible for the artists that they sign and not because the artists that they sign are outside doing wicked things. They're supposed to show them a different way now that the artists that they sign are getting ready to make some money can change their life. And that's a big problem. Like, they get into these situations and they continue to, to st still do the and same things that they were doing yesterday that can't possibly good for, be good for them today now that they turn into a star. You understand what I'm trying to say? And I feel like people like Capo and us are still needed and really more needed at this time, but just guys that are going to be genuine. See, me, I'm genuine. I want to see my artists win, and I'm here to change the, the narrative. Like, I'm not trying to put none of my artists in no fucked up contracts. I want everybody to be. We could all here to make money. You understand what I'm saying? But I want to... But my thing is, we got to... We gotta. They need people like us because these labels, it's no... They have no vested care or love for these, these, these. You know what I mean? Like me, I'm going to really show these. You know what I mean? It's not too show, show them it's a not, lot more. They, they need that in like between. Because Jimmy, I, like you said, like, like what, what makes me a different, like, from a Jimmy Iovine, right? Why do, why do you separate me if I sign a drill artist and look at it and, like, I'm getting, I'll get in the middle of it, but a Jimmy Iovine won't. Nah, I'm nah, just like Nah, he definitely Jimmy deserves no, I'm, some I'm, introspection I'm if he's doing that as well, like, I would think, you know? I'm not saying Jimmy Iovine, but I'm also going to give positive vibes to, mm. to, to, to him and, 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 and try to really, you know what I mean, guide them and make sure not just like, oh, I have a vested interest in the music, that's it, whatever you get into, you die tomorrow, you just, I'm trying to really, you know, pull them away from something that could really harm them and, 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 and really, you know, get these kids, you mean, a, 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 a better way. That's why I think, you know, people like us are are needed. And I mean, sometimes, you know, when, it, when artists, they, they don't really understand what they get when they sign to, you know, artists do, do you mean, vested in going to the label. Like, the labels are just labels, you know what I'm saying? They're there to just pick up a lot of pieces. And I mean, they're really not doing nothing. You're right. talking about and, mentorship. You know, it's way yeah, deeper almost than, like yeah. that's that. I feel like that's missing, and, and, and like, exactly. I and feel you like came from missing. that. I come from yeah. that, and I'm a, I, I want to install that back into the game. Like, that's what I'm doing with my artists and the whole ICFMF is a label. Like, I got a bunch of super dope artists. Shout out to Duty Low, um, Kato, Ski, my son Juju. Um, I don't wanna, um, yeah, oh, Ja, Young Ja. Because Jewel's, you know is saying? it true that, you like, to come crazy. you got your deal initially or your situation with Cam, I should say, beyond the deal for rapping for him in his car? That's the, that's yep. the, that's yeah, the yeah. folklore, I right? I rapped for him in his car, Cam was sleeping. I told the story, he was sleeping. My cousin brought him over. He woke Cam up. I rapped for him. I didn't really know if Cam liked me. He called me to the studio like a week later. Do you remember the rap that you spit? Hell no. <laughs> I, I, I could tell you one thing. I remember Cam saying, yo, nah, I just met this young kid, Jim. He got it. He talking about he keep the ham in his, even when he go swimming, he got the gat in his truck. I don't see, he just, mm. he just, I just remember That's him just saying something. He had the gat in his trucks and yeah. shit like that. He just, Cam just couldn't believe it. And I met them. I had a right. bulletproof vest when I went to the studio. I had, I had, a, I had beef in my. And he's 16 at this time. He was right. living a little fast, a little fast. Kid. Nobody does the bulletproof vest shit anymore, really, right? I mean, shit. If your ass is in trouble, you you need to do what you need to do. I don't know how people are living right now, but I mean, we made it a fashion. That's fashion. a fashion accessory, low key. We did, we did. Uh, you know, we try to make everything a fashion. It's, it's They're like, illegal, though, right? But, but that's yeah. what it is. It's a lifestyle. I mean, we always sold lifestyle, so it was. We try to make everything that we incorporate into our lifestyle and just fashionable. And it, you know what I mean, and we right. talked about it. So if we was in beef and having a bulletproof vest, we we needed to wear it for protection, but we also gonna try to make it look fly at the same time. Right. The Louis yeah. V vest. Oh, right. Man, I, I, I gotta bring this up. Rest in peace, take off. Terrible situation that unfolded a couple weeks ago. And Jim, I know you were close with them and uh, had even been working with them in recent memory. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Shout out to Takeoff, take, man. man. One, of, uh, one of the most beautiful souls I got to meet on this earth. Um, 
forever be mem remembered. Um, one of the uh, few artists of where he's at and always gave me my flowers anytime I seen him. And he always make me feel welcome whenever I seen him. Damn, Just to come to the city, hit us up. Just we had a brotherhood that that was just real dope. I, like I had a real a real special bond with Take Um, and I know he had so many special bonds with so many other people. Um, he 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 made everybody around him smile. He took care of everybody. Um, never allowed me to pay for anything when I was around him. He looked at me like, "Unk, you bugging? Don't don't ever pull nothing else your pocket, Unk. You, I got this. This is my pleasure." Like mm -hmm. it just he just was that type of person. Like he, I never seen him upset. I never seen him get upset. Um, rode with the flow, stayed himself. I mean, and, and, uh, he will be truly missed. He's a brother of mine that will be truly missed. So R.I.P. Takeoff. That's R.I.P. Takeoff. Yes. God bless R.I.P. Takeoff, God bless man. your family. God bless Offset. God bless Quavo. God, God bless, bless your mother. QC. All of them. The whole everybody over there. Everybody. Like, you even everybody. working with them on music in recent memory, though. Like, wh like, what brought you guys together on that level? Takeoff. He was in town. He like, yo, uncle, you at? I'm like, I'm in the studio. He like, oh, I'm pulling up. He was, anytime, he if he pulled get up, next that's to any he, one of us, that's what he was trying to do. Like, and y'all was saying? both on that one joint, right? That Khaled I, remix? I, yeah. I oh, yeah, the Khaled. Yeah, 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 you know. We set the trends, yeah. yeah, Jim always throwing me the alleys. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, but that was, that was fully take. He came, he, he, came, he came to the studio. We was burning blunts. He like, oh, we got to get one in. Fuck this. I got I to get you I gotta get you one of them joints. He started playing some beats. He like, this is it. This is it. He went and did his, ended up with set the trends. I was like, oh man, I had did, I might did, did a little bit of the verse. I, I I was just so hyped that he had did the record. I couldn't even focus. Because it was you with him at first, right? Yeah, it I went was home. And, I remember Jim. You had the Supreme Bar in that song, I think. That's yeah. where yeah, 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 that's, that's yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. I went home and I did did the verse and I came back and did it over. And then I had put a little bit on the gram, and then um, Offset hit me like. Nah, you bugging. I need to get on that. Oh, y'all, you tripping? You feel like getting on that? And I was like, wow. I went, I went to the studio, set up with Offset. He was in there, chilling out and shit like that. End up doing the verse. Then I put that on. Then Quavo hit me. Was like, nah, man. You you got you you got two without the three, man. You can't ever get the choke. He came and did his verse, and all that was on the strength of a, a takeoff. Giving me that record and things like that, you know what I mean? R I P. And that, that record kind of that that was a very big record for me. This shit put me in the put me in the top forties, put me back on, on billboards. Like he did more than a salad for me and shit like that. He helped me feed my family, so you know. And I think that's one of the mama. last. That's mama. Speaking of ad libs, that's one of the last records that the whole Migos did. I want to say, yeah. like, yeah. Together. Yeah. Definitely, um, right. yeah. That was one of the last records that they got to do, so you know. That's wow. super dope. And you got to perform that at, we, we, we actually went to the, um. We went to the we album to release. We went to the album release and party. And that was the first time that I really, I got to perform the record with them. Was Damn. that that album release? Oh, wasn't there, but you know. Got, got right. both of them, that was dope. dope. It's crazy, crazy cause I got a record with all three of them. You know I me, mean? I be ho I be hoarding music, man, so. Right. Notorious a, hoarder. Notorious hoarder. I got a record <laughs> with, with them. We did about a couple, about, Two years ago, I think. Jewels, what's yeah. the? I know you know motherfuckers want to know what's up with. Oh, the, not a hard job. We do it in, in motion tape yes. coming coming ASAP. I don't got an official date, but probably not, like next month. About to put out this record next week. I'm in motion. Every, I'm in every, motion. Every, every day I be on. Him. He be on me. New music coming out though. I got a record with A Boogie called Friendly. I'm putting it's that fire. out. It's, it's fire too. Next week, and I'm probably gonna do this tape with drama, but I ain't reached out to him yet. But I'm gonna. Tell you hey, right hey, now, I hey told drama, you. we need to get yeah. get Jewels needs the gangster so, grills. So yeah, the, the gangster grills in motion tape. How you don't have one already? That. That's yeah, crazy. No, it's, it's that's overdue. So I'm gonna put all that together, put some records I got with some some of the good men on there, and then just 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 start start. You know. What about Weezy? Anything with Weezy? Come on, that's my brother. That's yeah. always that's always. You know. One, one I can't feel my faces already. Weezy. You know. That's so, what man, we need. Well Shouts to Weezy. Weezy has Weezy has brother, never man. ever front. I mean, I mean, you and you and, Joels and Weezy has a, a different type of relationship. But for me, from from, he has never ever fronted on anything that I called up and asked for. Like, yeah, any that's the same here. Anything like, it come right back like with no sweat, no mm -hmm. second guess, no nothing. I, I videos everything. So I re, I really appreciate you, Weezy. For it, it's it, with me. It's 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 it's, it's been that and, and and even deeper shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the and, lost and album Wayne's, that everybody wants more than anything. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, and I, I just hate talking about it because it, we, I think we done gave it so much promote. Like I said, that's my brother. We always do music, and you know what I mean. If you see, I can't feel my face. I see FMF, so it is what it is, man. We emotion, baby. 
How are you guys feeling about the versus battle now that you've had quite a while to <laughs> reflect on it? Shout out to the locks, man. Yeah. The locks came very prepared. Proper uh proper preparation prevents poor performance. And <laughs> they had all the P's in order, you dig? Right. What, what more could so what more could we say? That was a, a mind blowing thing for me to see. Like a lot of people on Twitter like seeming like they were just figuring out now that Jada Kiss is an elite rapper and that they're all fucking not elite just, rappers not just but a rapper he's an entertainer and a performer right way different than just a rapper but he's I, just I, I really feel like he never got anything, as much credit as he deserved that, throughout his career so it was what? nice Facts. in that moment guess to see what? him guess actually what? getting that credit and, 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 and more than anything respectfully and so much johnny respect us for is like more than anything i'm happy we got to do that for them too right in, in hindsight you know what i'm saying pete we, just as much as because pete you know you it, you, 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 just as much as you can't give us more, you, you can't take nothing away from us. You understand what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But I feel like that night, you know, they came well prepared. They got the best of that night, and it got it got to put a light on them that when it's you know your time they, they, to shine, they, 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 they it's your they, time they to shine. They should have always had, just like what you said with Jada. He's always been, you know what I'm saying? But you know, it got to a point to where certain younger generation might not have been as hip as they might have been to us and you know they definitely so i'm happy they they they, they got that like I, I i fuck with them shout out to jada and this coffee coffee thing he doing too they got the family business kiss cafe shout supporting kiss. Everything. Pharma, pharmacy for life styles everybody. p got pharmacy for life he, p. Yeah, he be baby. sending he be sending me my pack of pills he be having the uh the, the sea moss in there he be having <laughs> all type of things and then vitamins and shit like that so i take those every day man so shout out to shout out to them guys i feel like with that versus it kind of like they flipped the script because prior to that Motherfuckers weren't doing full on performances. I'm ready. I'm ready to kill somebody though for a little redemption though, just in case anybody for the kill, man. Who you looking uh, at? Ooh. Who you looking at? It don't matter. It ain't even about who. I ain't never looking. Wasn't they talking about men? Wasn't they talking about bleak? Like I said, I ain't never looking for nobody. They was talking about bleak. <laughs> but anybody could get killed. You know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Lyrically. So, yeah. Right. You know what I mean? I can't. You're talking about verses. I can't. Say, talking I, about verses. I, I can't say what, this, what else would I be? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't like, say you just that said that it night, so convincing. That <laughs> night was an extraordinary night. Like it, it, that that type of energy I haven't seen in the city since the tunnel since the tunnel was open. I, don't, I, don't, yeah. I know wow. not too many people have experienced the energy of the tunnel, but that was like what the tunnel felt like on the night that Rockefeller was coming and yeah, I'm happy club we could sold do that out at eleven man. o'clock. That shit was a different type of feeling. So have you talked to Cam since then? Yeah. Oh, okay. You did Talk another interview where you said you hadn't talked to him for a while after that. So. Yeah, shit, I have it, but I ha I had it, and then I should, you know, shit, we be doing shit. What well, I got to talk to Cam every day and shit like that. That's my brother, nonetheless. Of what goes on, but he be doing shit, I be doing shit, we all be doing shit. You know what I mean? Me and you both are very close though, so you know, you know how shit happens. You got brothers, right? You got brothers. The emotion. Uh, no. All right, so you wouldn't know how I feel. Well, not literal brothers. That's your, that's your brother right there though. Newfound brother, now, I guess you could yeah, say. Yeah. Now. Shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> no new friends. So I'm making new friends all the time. What's going on? Hey man, you be surprised who become here. Yeah, you can't. You can't. No, no, nothing and wrong I, with new friends. I believe. I believe. I believe that that's one of those phrases that I like. You know, over overrated. Like, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying it sounds good. It's right. a phrase. You got a lot of. You phrases. don't want to be closed. Yo, off. you got a lot of phrases that sound good, and they're cool <laughs> to say in songs. And you know, let's no, let's be cool no with that. Friends. It's just like certain songs. My it's day cool ones. To say. Yeah, I got I got some like friends that I got from back in the day. Like when little kid used to say all that freaky shit, and then then when niggas approach y'all on some wild freaky shit, niggas ain't wild freaky <laughs> right. no more. You understand what I'm saying? You, you, you understand what I'm saying? This like like you know, girl, they be they be in a club like ah do this that and the third and do this that and the third back in. You be like, and they be like, yo, my nigga, where you, 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 you know what I'm saying? Go with you. Yo, I mean, a lot, I'm just saying, like, a lot so, of your friends from back in the day don't end up being very good friends. As you get older, you just kind of realize, I'm like, just making, yeah, how theory, long you know somebody is not the most important like thing, theories, right? Man. Yes. No, but there are some people that you have long-lasting relationships from right. back in the day. But for the most mm. part, people that you meet, meet throughout your lifetime might help you way more than people that you've known through for your whole life. If that makes sense, Joels, was there ever a moment where, when you listened to Diplomatic Immunity and you heard that skit where Freaky Ziggy called you like a doo doo stained mid <laughs> midget what? big head, was there like a moment where you were like, 
Maybe that was too much. <laughs> nah, it ain't never too much for Zeke. <laughs> Zeke wild, and huh? Zeke, Zeke is... <laughs> I mean, just midget, doo-doo stay. I was like, damn, that sounds crazy in retrospect. Nah, at, at, at that nah. time, I, was I, I'd, I'd, have felt time. More, I'd have felt more crazy trying to tell Zeke to change it at that time. And like, <laughs> hey, we be getting at each other hey, Zeke, like that, hey, though, Zeke, over you, here, you, right? You, you cool with it, Zeke? I'm cool. That was warranted at the time. That was, <laughs> was welcome. What said, with Drake like I like, with Zeke like I like, at that time, though. Right. Oh, he said no. You could imagine <laughs> what he said before we took that take. That just was one of many takes. Right. What has to happen for like take him to church to be on streaming services? Um, for real, take him to church or on my way to church. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. it. Um, the the oh, first album. Oh shit! I I I wouldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't answer that right now. I could ask my lawyer about that shit in the morning. Right. There's a lot of stuff, like a lot of classic mixtape stuff, because like me and my girl went and saw Billy Joel at Madison Square Garden, and I was like, damn, there are multiple Dipset records I remember that had fire Billy Joel samples that I wanted to revisit after that, but that they're all the, just the, on YouTube. That was the problem. They were samples, and that was how a lot of our mixtapes were created. A lot of the records that we wanted to use were records that we couldn't get cleared. So we you ought to know city. by now. We oh, built this city. <laughs> we just went. You but that one got cleared. Yeah, one got yeah, cleared. but that's that so was, that was later though. on. Yeah, right. That was, yeah. that was on the album actually and shit like that. That was one of the early records that kind of gave us our sound. Besides all the heat maker records that we were doing, we built the city was a, was, a, was was a dope record. And beyond that, the legendary freestyles, that hot ninety seven mm. freestyle over the I really mean it. I miss that era. That is that, that's. Probably my favorite freestyle of all time, like no cap, like to this day. Shit, Cam, to this day, yeah. all y'all went Cam, crazy. Cam was very strict about making sure everybody had their balls together back then and shit like that. I I, yeah. I can't attribute that. Yeah, Cam him was to militant. That. Cam Cam definitely was militant in that. In that in I just was starting out, so it was like it was like school to me and shit like that. Mm. We just have to make sure that I all was those, I was lazy. All those classic mistake joints, me. they just can't be lost to time. We got to make sure that all that shit's properly archived. At least it doesn't seem like it gets taken off YouTube. So, I would literally like I would visit New York. I'm from here. I would go out to New York, and my primary purpose of a visit would be like I'm going to uh, Saint Nick's and One Eight Deuce, <laughs> copping the motherfucking Dipset tapes. Like literally, like that shit was my religion. Bro. Yeah, the game yeah. seemed just so much. I, I mean, it was different back then. Like, the man, feeling. If he was doing this shit now. Imagine the this, this shit. That we was doing back in the days that we was doing now, it'd be like, it's so so crazy. Like with, with, with the internet, I'm just trying to think of how things yeah. would have transpired different, mm. well, whether it was for the better or for the for the worse. Of uh, I think y'all would have you know been, been even crazier. Oh no, we would have. We, oh, that's be, for sure. Because of like that's for sure. We look. We we would have been. We would have been, but then there's some things we, you we got. Some things that we did we that would have got. You know what I mean, we would have definitely we, been on a cancel block a lot of times. We would have been on a cancel chopping block a lot of times. We, 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 we would have been. Did, you know you used to make money off MySpace. Huh? Would you make been. any money off MySpace back in the day? Because that kind of overlapped, right? MySpace. No, you weren't. We wasn't into MySpace. I came in on the Instagram wave. Yeah, I ain't even do. Was a MySpace type type of guy. We was moving too fast for MySpace. Right. I started doing Facebook as I had Instagram just because it was I, you know, I, I kind of linked it to my, my Yeah, I started Instagram with like Twitter like and shit like that. I no, I started Twitter first. You're absolutely right. Yeah, Twitter was I wasn't, first in, wasn't started, into right? none of I got a lot of good emo oh, pussy and, on MySpace. I met my wife, I met my <laughs> wife on and Twitter. And the two-way the two the two, the two page before that was probably Shout my, out to my wife. I but met, that's crazy. I met my wife on Twitter. Because y'all was always ahead of the curve. What'd you say? Like, you know futuristic so they gonna have to use ballistics just to prove I'm this sick like y'all's you know? oh, yeah, yeah. like y'all's bars oh, come on bars you feel me I am yeah. crack like always <laughs> always ahead of the curve yeah. hey how, yeah. how do y'all do that but how many like, people got the A ad libs they just switched it I, up with an accent hey, millions this, of different I, A's, I, A's and on, yeah man. A and yeah Hey, guy, come on. So much shit I started. But they, 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 they be, they yeah, be, the A chain. It's like they be so reluctant to just give, give. Like, it. Damn, like, the, cool. Remember the A chain? chain? That shit was <laughs> the biggest A of all time. <laughs> Jewelry collection. Bust <laughs> down. Jewelry collection. Dude, oh, my God. You need to do a merch collection that's just the old Santana's town Everything merch. Everything is going to be under Just the this exact whole, same the, the thing. The whole ICFMF I'm doing. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm contributing a little bit of everything to... So what I'm doing right now is just a whole boss up for me and capitalizing. Even for capital, we just capitalizing on all them missed opportunities and right. you know, of course, fashion and oh, even like the bandana. You see, I got the. Why did not Ben have a bandana? Joel Santana, Santana bandana. bandana. Oh, nah, the fuck? The man who squeezes hammers. Come on. Yeah. So you know, um, he be doing what? everything. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was it, right? That's why I say it's a lifestyle. Like we <laughs> no. may talk. That's that. 
even <laughs> down to the bud. Like it's something. That, as much as I didn't incorporate it as much in my in my music, like oh, say a Wiz or or or, or um, Snoop did. But mm. I'm just as when it comes to bud as them. That's a fact. Right. You go to the early days, starting to smoke a thon. Bruno kept hollering my name. Yo, Purple Jewels, Red. we set up the smoke Purple, alarm here. Purple tell Red. Jewels, tell Jewels and Shice Bub, we should be Purple. looking for them. Shout Purple out to Haze. my boy Shice Bub. You know what I'm saying? We, in, we, we, we put purple haze on the map. Man, Burner, come, Burner, what's up? Shout out to Cookies. I push everything they doing. Burner, I the, those are his Harlem come strains, up. though, like uh, what? purple haze. Like, damn, you ain't holla at your Sour diesel, diesel like, New York diesel. Like, like, purple haze you know and sour diesel. Holla at me, man. Holla yeah. at me, my guy. We take, we take the purple haze and the sour diesel. That's how I mean, we, we, in, we in motion, though. Y'all like, smoking sativas. Y'all going, I can't even, that feel like something else to me. You feel me? Like, Sativa's nah, but we, we 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 in a couple cookie stores right now though. The 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 the, the motion. They just opened the New York one. Shout out to my boy Chris Grunge. Open the New yeah, York. Yeah, but I don't think they got they they they, they can't sell butter. Yeah, it's, it's just, just a, it's just a gear for store. now. Yeah, but they yeah yeah, yeah of course they're going. Of yeah. course they'll probably be the what they the what first they ones with it. What they done with cookies is crazy though. Yeah, no, yeah. That's you a see fact. burner on that top five uh, hip hop. Listen, listen, I can graduate. One thing about me, I ain't got no hate in my blood, and I'm a super supporter. So I love I love it. I love anybody. I be wondering why niggas be mad at anybody getting to the bag. It's enough money out here for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you don't know nobody's story and what they go through and, and, and what they took to get there. You right. know what I'm saying? It's just like, yo, I don't me, I don't care. Like if a nigga winning, they winning. I gotta hit this I, one. I always feel the same. Like You guys been cool with Kanye forever. Is it hard to see all the shit that been going on with him having damn near every but he turned their backs on him and whatnot? It's wild, boy. It's all. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Yeezy, man. It's always see. It's always sad to see somebody of Kanye's stature, nature, going through a situation like what he's going through right now. That's that's the best way I could put it. Mm. Yeah, it, it's well, always sad to see I mean, a person like Kanye, especially like you know, being being a person of color and to reach the stature and be his influence, going through what he's going through. And I, I leave it at that because. We have yet to, to know and see where it's going and where it's going to I mean, end up. Shit. And I know he's very smart. I know, you know what I mean? He's in a great position right now for commerce. Yeah. If it's about money, he's probably in the greatest position he ever be in. I, I said that on Instagram and people, you know, you had a lot of comments. That was, that, that's why I hate saying things. And then I, I guess I'm in that 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 thing to where certain people feel like, you, I, whatever. I'd like to hear you elaborate on that, though, specifically, like, like for those that might not understand. Why because you feel that way? He's, he's, I mean, for bit, everything, it's just like when Trump was president. See, people always got to put put things into perspective and, and, and categories and certain, you know what I'm saying? A person can be this way, but they can also be good in this area too, just like they could be bad in this area and, 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 and good in that area. And that's why I feel like, you know, happening with Kanye, he still has his leverage of like being able to sell. Let me people, ask you, everybody's let me ask you not a, let me ask you a question. Shit, still you think to, niggas broke Yeezy because... Adidas no, exactly. did it, or they brought Yeezy because Yeezy did it. No, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Their so, stock went so, up actually when Yeezy. So, so, went there, so therefore, he has the biggest window of his life to be able to sell, sell directly to consumers. And yeah, maybe they may be they, they may be closing a lot of doors for him, but right. there's always a door that is open always. that can probably. That and is kind of how always, all this it's started. Always somebody he wanted willing, to be free it's from always Adidas so, and all it's that. Always you know? he got willing, free. It's always somebody willing to go against the norm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But, my, but, but to, to, to what I'm saying is I said, so Adidas said they're going to continue to sell yeah. Yeezys without Yeezy. But at that point, it's not even a Yeezy. It's just an Adidas. Hold on. No, I'm hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. But, 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 but to and that I don't point. Think, and I don't think nobody is is jacking that. It's going to be all about if the fans embrace it. Hold on. But, 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 hold on. To that point, though, it gets to the point to where it's like, then how you even? That's we, the weird. That was we the a culture th that want the real thing. Like first let, of all, let's be we ain't, real. We ain't into the knockoff. That's this, weird. You you you, you cancel heard? him, but then you continue to sell yeah, his stuff. When can you? When can you? When could you? Niggas is not. We not into the knockoff in this culture. Nah. We if you want say the, Canal Street, if you want done the real with, yeah, thing. You got to be done with all things. Yay though, right? I would I would think that's right. If you're done with him, then don't continue to sell his designs. That that don't really, cause then it, it makes me think to its extent it is some way about money. Now you're able to push him out and continue to make the money mm. off of his, and that, you know what I mean. It just, but he did say some fucked up things, and that's not cool. 
You know what I'm saying? So I'm not, I'm, we not standing let's, by, behind. Wait, 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 you know, let's not, let's not even. Yeah, you're going to keep it. You know, you know. I'm talking from a business perspective. Not get into none of the personal things that's going on. I don't. I, I, I don't. I ain't I got no. I don't got no opinion on that. You dig? All I'm saying is that from a business perspective, from where he's at, if it's about if it's about money, he's in a great position to make the probably best. the most money that he's ever made for himself. Because of the independence, you're saying essentially. That's all I'm saying. I'm not getting into anything else. That's clear. we're not getting into anything else. You heard? <laughs> <laughs> not into. Yeah, leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Definitely. Understandable, man. Shit is radioactive. Yes, it is. It's good to stay away from politics. It's kind of a shame to see somebody who really, like, became a legend because of his music and his fashion sense and whatever kind of end up in this position because he really wanted to, like, weigh in on politics when it's like... What, like what? Like to a certain extent, there's part of my brain that feels like fuck. Like why does it even fucking matter? Like why can't he just believe whatever the? I feel the same way about athletes. It's like they're they're here to play basketball. Like can't they just think whatever the fuck they want? I can't tell you this. Facts. The freedom of speech is very pricey. Mm. Very pricey. Apparently. Yeah. Bars. But do you feel? As, as a person who might from time to time have, you know, controversial opinions, do you feel like you find yourself sort of not expressing them on social media or whatever because you just don't want to be looking at your fucking Instagram or Twitter and dealing with the fallout and all that bullshit over the course of the next couple of days? I feel like this. When I was younger, <laughs> there were things that I may have shouted out mm. that I might not be ready to shout out right now. I pick and choose the things I want to say and I want to be very... St- Smart and diligent about the things that I choose to say. I try. To, you have you to did. be. I was. Just, I'm a very emotional person. I used to just go off the hinge and shit like that, for the most part. And we're in a different time right now, so you gotta be very strategic about how you market yourself and promote your brand and, and things like that. So we all want to make money, so we can't feed our family and things like that. You dig? So there's a lot that goes with the way that I act nowadays and things like that. You dig? Now am I? aware of things that's going on? Yes, am I conscious of things that's going on? Yes, very much so. You know what I mean? It's a time and a place for me to state my opinions and things, but right now, on certain things, uh, I have no opinion on. I, I like to live life. I don't really see no color. I got white friends, I got black friends, I got friends in jail, I got friends that's lawyers, Asian I got friends. friends that's doctors, I got friends that's pieces of shit, I got creed, like dig you, like I got shit. All shapes, sizes, forms, races, <laughs> shapes. Sure. You got yeah. fat helmets? Shapes. That's hard. I, I, I bring them to the gym. I bring them to the. I bring them to the gym, and I and I help and I help them and I help them get in shape. <laughs> you ain't never seen a motherfucker that look like a shape. <laughs> he a whole ass a oval. He a whole ass oval. Nigga look like a whole. Nigga look like a whole circle. <laughs> you, like, all right. Do you feel like it's hard to convince the younger generation of rappers and what not to take their health serious? Because I feel like working out is becoming more and more popular, but at the same time, with a lot of these young rappers, I feel like working out is just not. Not even in the conversation with them. I mean, health is wealth. I can't tell you that. Like, it has helped me out tremendously throughout my life and things like that. And in recent, uh, health has been one of the biggest topics inside of our culture and inside of this rap community and things like that. Now, you know, youngsters got a, light, a lot of light to live still. So, you know, they they running on high energy. You di- you dig? But as they get older, they need to start to make smarter decisions about their health and about the food they eat and the choices they make and things like that. You know what I mean? And that's what we've been promoting for, for the longest. As you can see, we did the Van Fit, we did the Fitlet. Shouts to Maino, shouts to Fabulous, shouts to Davies, and shouts yeah, to yeah. everybody else that's into working out and staying young. That's the closest we got to. Uh, but you know what? I think the, the narrative got lost too. The narrative got lost in society and, and everything that's going on. These young niggas don't even think they're going to live to that age. Mm. That's what's so fucked up out here. They truly don't. Right. Like, they truly don't even see it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But everything that's going on, and it's like, you figure out how we could change shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and, it was and, like that and, when we was younger. We didn't think we would live past yeah. 25. You know what I'm saying? Why Hard think, to convince a young kid you think, to think about the future. Believe it or not, you, know? you look at all the, 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 the older artists, it's, it's, more, it's, it's more them, you know what I mean? Who get into the, you know what I mean? Like you said, it's not the young, because they're not looking at that. They don't see it until they get kind of like maybe early 30s, like, oh, all right, now nah, I want to. I mean, or have these kids or go through some real life situations. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right now, they just at that age the way they just like, really, whatever happens, happens. Living you know? for the moment. Yeah, it's like, really, though. We all living for the moment, but I can't they say, like. I can't say this. When we were younger, we were, we were very athletic when we were younger. Like, we were all 
basketball, play basketball every day, sports outside. There wasn't video games video or phones games and things that, like yeah. that that kept us in the house. Everything we did was outside. So health was a little bit different when we were younger. Most of us was already in mm -hmm. shape vicariously for the way that we live and came outside every day and things like that. So things like that carry with me as I got older and shit like that. But are you too famous to go catch a workout on the monkey bars in the park at this point I, in your I, life? I, I do it every summer, all summer. You can go to my hood and see. No worries. I mean, we, That's all, fire. we all got worries and things like that, you dig? Right. You better worry about life, but for the most part, I try not to be a prisoner of my own fame, but I also try not to be stupid either. I'm not mm -hmm. Superman out here, you dig? Right. But yeah, I'm, I, I go to my hood and I work out, you dig? I still want the kids to see me. I still want the kids to be able to look at something they can do, and, and the odds are very slim for them, but when they see me, they know that the odds are higher than they thought. Is know? it kind of distracting because it turns into a fucking photo shoot? I mean, well, you, I'm from I'm from that hood, so my hood is a little bit different. They got a, right. they got a lot of respect for me, and I got a, a lot of respect for them. He's asking because he wants to know if he could work out in the. I mean, if you want to get away, with <laughs> if, if you want to if you want to come if you want to come work out with me in, in my neighborhood, you you I'm very, very into that. You're very well welcome. It's very cold right now, but besides that, I'm down. This is my yeah. son part of me. Okay. We chain. We had it good. We were spoiled in NY for these past couple of months. We was getting spoiled. Right. Jack Jack Foster came, started kicking ass these past. Couple, a week. Yeah. Got Jack I'm Frost right. on the damn neck, fool. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> God I'm damn. I'm used to that, Jack Frost. You know what I'm saying? Right. Let me ask you this. I'm immune to that. How you feel about Mace signing Fabio Foreign to this bullshit deal? Listen, I want to. I don't know what you consider a bullshit deal. Let's 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 wait. Let's wait. Okay, odds. Fair. This, Break it fair. down. This is not. This is not me sticking up for Mason or this is not me sticking up for Fabio. From an artist perspective, when you coming up and you got nothing, your back is against the wall and all you want to do is rap, you are willing to take whatever deal that comes at you because you feel in your heart that you're going to be the biggest thing smoking. So you're going to deal with whatever comes with that. I'm telling you from my perspective. So in May's perspective, an artist is the, the, uh, 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 executive who's trying to sign an artist <laughs> and knows a little bit more than the artist would know. Um, be able to some, get you more. some would say he took advantage. Some would say he kept it fair. But what he did do was get put this artist in the game and give him a chance at life and things exactly. like that. So when you look at it from different perspectives, it's like who was wrong, who was right. Now, a fair person may have not did the deal like that. They may have took less percentage and things like that. But when you agree to something, that's what you agree to. When you learn knowledge about something, you may not agree to that same deal because now you're more knowledgeable. And that's where renegotiation comes in. And I do believe that he has renegotiated for a lot more money than he has signed for. And when he signed 100%. at that time, he signed for way more money than he had in his pocket. You did? I think that's a great point. And, uh, and to me, uh, Fabio, just in my career, we kind of talked about I asked him, to me, we kind of just talked about it. And like Jim said, I mean, I was in a situation too, but I don't feel, I feel like when people give you, you got it, people, always forget about the opportunity and the people mm -hmm. that helped them. And I was a firm believer in that. That's why you never, you know what I mean? Me and Cam have had, you know what I mean, little things, but you never hear me saying nothing because I respect the fact of somebody giving me my shot and me, me being able to, you know, regardless of what the terms were at the time, I'm able to feed my family forever because of that. And I, I truly respect and, 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 and appreciate that more than anything. Right. You know what I'm saying? More than anything. So I, I, I would never sit here and talk about what a contract was at the time. Like Jim says, what I agreed Man, to. Listen to me. As I, as I progressed, I learned. I got more knowledgeable. Things change. I'm still... But, but let's keep it, bro, yeah. listen to me. I'm, I'm in the hood. Nigga, like, I got a million dollars. We going 50-50. Yeah, like that's what nigga. I'm in a was, hood. I'm in a project. You saying you got a million, and we gonna go fifty fifty? You give me five hundred. But that's what I'm saying. You taking five hundred, man? Son, man, where we at? Where the fuck is paper that's, at? That's what it was. What, though. what the fuck is going? Like, is you niggas stupid? Like, let's be realistic here about what's going on. This is niggas is busting down a deal. I got an opportunity for you. We gonna bust down a big check. And but this was what lost nowadays. Niggas don't understand that part about it. Like no, because the media always misconstrues everything. They, but when even. they do shit, and I don't mean you say you fuck, but when you do shit like that, when you say a bullshit deal, because you don't, mm. y'all don't talk about the other stuff. Like, like you said, but that wasn't a million dollar deal, though. And but hold on, hold on. But you don't know million, the logistics. Like, he said seventy five thousand, but you don't. That may be what they got in their pocket. But deals are always what you get in your pocket is never like 
the deal is always more than that. It's not the label is not giving you right. every. So if you got a million dollar deal, you may have five hundred thousand yeah. for your for your budget. Five hundred thousand yeah. this to do this, this to do that. So you can't you can't say that wasn't a million dollar deal either. You know what I'm Because you don't technically know. They just said what he got. I'm just you know, telling. I'm just telling you, know you in the hood how it would be, nigga. We got five hundred thousand. I got five hundred thousand, nigga. You got. Forty dollars in your pocket. I don't know what that man's situation, but I don't know. I don't see he was driving no Benzes. I ain't see him outside lit with the rest of us. You did. He was trying to get on. Right. He from yeah, Brooklyn. Yeah, the, you the, absolutely the, right. The the, the 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 gutter of Brooklyn and shit like that. A nigga like nigga. What we got five hundred? Bust you two fifty, nigga. Speaking, like I'm I'm I, nigga. What? I'm speaking for the niggas. What about niggas? That's I right, some got a couple niggas that's not in the hood and they are. My thing is, if a nigga's giving you the opportunity, somebody believe in you and and and, and putting you on a bigger even even now for Mace too like it's like it's different when Mace walk you into a label or somebody like me or Jim walk you into a label to where you walking yourself into a label See, I guarantee you I, I guarantee you you're not I'll be even able to get, get I'll be able to get more money yourself. than what no, you'll be sure. able to get See, this so is you'll, like be an get, you'll be getting fair a percentage answer. you'll be getting a percentage I, I, yeah. of money that wasn't even there you understand what I'm saying and same thing with producers when they be like all right a lot of producers would complain about Diddy yo he was taking out beats all right but you would have sold that beat for five thousand. Right. Did he sold that beat for a hundred thousand and gave you twenty thousand and you mad? But you would have sold that beat for five thousand though. You understand what I'm that's saying? So it's like, but when it's time to case, complain, niggas want to get on these shows and complain. That's not fair. I don't know who's more right or who's think, more wrong. I don't think Fabio but it's was easy, complaining and shit it's like that. It's easy to get on these. Was, yeah, yeah. Just, it's, just rapping and doing what what niggas do. No, no, I ain't saying that. Yeah, facts. I think it's just easy to. With these interviews, like one thing Capo said, you just got it because it's so easy for for this shit to just get twisted. And I think that that's the beauty of everything that's going on, even right here, what we talking about. You just exposing how a lot of things just get twisted because there's so many different ways of just to just kind of like even back to when we was talking about the um the um 21. Just he he wasn't saying that in a malicious way, and it just get I mean. You got somebody yeah, who's going to say, no, he was even saying what, that in the Somebody we, out there is going to say, we no, say, he even was saying, saying that in the They're they going to misconstrue what we were saying. Like, yo, yo, like, yo like, fuck yeah, yeah, I don't know. Y'all, they going to say it like we did. Like we said, somebody's going to take that like we said something crazy. It's just going to be, I mean. But don't y'all feel like artist development nowadays is way, is somewhat. Needed. Yeah, it's very needed. It's missing but mentorship. But there, was, exactly. there was there was you, you a department. There was a department in all the labels, labels called artist that. development. That's what I'm saying. And nowadays, they, 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 they chop that block. No, they, and, yeah. and nowadays, they're no dependent more. on artists grinding it out, getting a buzz, no, getting their streams up, and then they they're depending gonna sign on you. artists exploiting themselves and doing some shit that they're not gonna be here for too long. You dig? Mm. Like they don't right. care about the life of an artist, bro. They don't care what happens to you as long as they can make some money off That's your artist. That's why we're going to change, like change the narrative over here. We're going to have super successful artists. So I urge these artists to be very smart, very smart with, 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 the, with the contracts you sign. Be very smart with the business you do. Yeah. Very smart how you move out here in the streets. And hey, all the contracts you sign might not be the best contracts, but make sure at the time it's what you need. Like you dig, I can't tell you that. Like. We all we all been up against a child exactly. of black, and I don't know what your situation is. And sometimes it's dire, and sometimes when dire things happen, you, you you gotta do things that you probably wouldn't do if you was in another situation. But make sure at the time as well, worth it that you feel that if you get that much, you can get to the next level where you need to be and shit. Like and, that. and don't all oh, and that's great. You absolutely right, but. You can't do that, and then after you do that and get in a better si like situation, a go and complain, <laughs> and then like and then make bitch. it seem like 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 that, because yo, that'd be Start a crazy. Like it's a easy when, when, when bitch. I'm no saying you. When, it's easy, motherfucker. Ask you for something, get something, get something, but to get that motherfucker back, it don't matter what it is. It'd be a whole different energy. You never right. noticed that. Oh, oh, you don't give the person something anymore. How they yeah, act towards like, you. You give people the world. As soon as you can't give them, can't give them a, the, a, 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 a star oh anymore. My God. I can't get. I can't get. I can't get, can't I can't get the, the right moon answer. anymore. So like I, I can't the get right the sea anymore. Like I ain't got it right now. And then it's a whole. Jim, thing. you've uh, worked for a couple of different labels over the years. Yes. Is, is that something you still do, or are you still interested in that? Do you feel like that's a good use of your time? Well, I have my own distribution label. Like I got an incub incubator label through Empire, where I release upwards of maybe like going on like a hundred records and oh, sure. artists okay. right now things like that um so i still play the executive position um would i be willing to go back into uh label yeah why not i mean my way of thinking when it comes to um finding artists and marketing and promoting artists is way different than mostly executives and i've been doing this for a minute and i'm pretty good at it um so you know but when i had the opportunities before i was a little bit young and i wasn't 
I could say wholeheartedly I wasn't ready at the time for the positions that I had. You know what I mean, it's kind of the question is like, is your time better spent working on the business of being you, or is it worth you know being the motor behind you know a younger artist too? Um, it's, it's both. It meets it, it meets at a medium. Um, a lot of the young artists that I deal with feel feel me to to keep working out there as me myself as an artist. They they keep me young at the same time, but at the same time, I I know what it takes to market and promote the artists and I know these are I'm trying to give each artist that I deal with a fair chance at their artistry and putting their music out for one sure thing, one thing I learned and even being through jail I read a lot you know what I'm saying and just I mean plotted a lot and for me it, right now it's about the brand and just you know what I'm saying building a brand marketing a brand you know what I mean and one of the biggest parts for your brand is marketing you know what I'm saying and, and, and promoting and getting people to understand what you what you selling and, and, and what you pushing and, and for me it's just lifestyle and, and, and everything overall that, that I embody, we embody, you know what I'm saying? From fashion to music to to um smoking smoking weed, you know what I'm saying? And it's all gonna be done on a high high level in, in a in a, 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 a quality control fire level. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that that's what ICFMF is for now, me right now. Now that you mention that, was was that couple years in jail, was that like the craziest fucking reset that like forced oh, you to be yeah, thankful yeah. for everything all over hell again? Yeah, and you know, I still I still fall short being out here, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Uh, I still fight demons every day and, 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 and fall short, but for the most part I'm in a great, great space and I'm trying, you know what I'm saying? And and, and uh, I, I'm feeling better, better than I've ever felt before, you know what I'm saying? Just 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 where I'm at, just more focused, just bossed up, you know what I mean? My energy is good. I feel like God is working for me, you know what I mean? Like of course there's a couple areas I I I could always get better in and I need to get better in and I'm I'm gonna always work towards that. But you know, for the for the most part, um I'm just loving loving where I'm at right now and, and jail definitely helped me helped me in a lot of ways. It, you know, when I came home, I wasn't able to really jump and attack things the way I wanted to because I was on house arrest. So people was just like, it was just like I was home and I was kind of stagnated in that. And then the whole pandemic, it kind of mm. threw me for a loop. You know what I'm saying? But I promised myself once I got off, you know, probation, I would get get straight to it. And that's what, you know, came about. I can't feel my face. And now we just, we just pushing. We got the... Hottest, it's dope hottest, to see. hottest brand in the street right now. The music is coming. Like I said, I'm about to put out, go full fledged with that. And I mean, I've been been touching things, giving them a little, little taste here and there. But now I'm about to go full fledged with that and just get everything to just tie in together. So it's it's just really like, like I said, the brand and building this empire. For you know sure, they're giving us the rap symbol. But uh, I mean, I'm I'm for me, and I'm sure on behalf of him too. I just wanted to thank you guys for your time and just say that like you know. 20 years of diehard Dipset fandom and that, you know, I'm sure there's a million motherfuckers like me watching this right now who just have immense appreciation for everything that y'all brought to the culture. So I just want to make that abundantly clear. And, it, and it's amazing to see you guys still making money and doing your thing and being able to really keep building shit later into your lives too. Because, you know, obviously 98% of mm. the rappers from your generation are uh, probably not quite as lucky. And still killing it. You yes. feel me? Like even Jim, the new single, the the gunshot joint, going crazy. You feel me? Like Thank you, Joel's man. bar sharp as ever, every single time. Like Thank you, man. Trying, man. I appreciate I'm trying, you, man. man. I appreciate y'all keep keeping the classy up here too. It's a big thing, man. You did no doubt. Definitely. Jim Jim definitely motivates me too, man. I'm, I'm I'm happy, man. He he he's in the space he's in. Like we 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 feed off a lot each other in a lot of different ways, and it's been like that for a long time. I'm definitely appreciative to have him as you know a brother and, and just somebody that's been in my life for, for for you know all these years no matter what we've ever ever gone through it's always just managed to come back full circle and us be tighter than we was the last time we was you know before whatever little hic hiccup you know that 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 came in the middle of us you know so that i feel like that's always god just working Shit is deeper than in my my brother's keeper. You heard me. Hey, two thousand one me's head just exploded. Pause. You feel me? This guy. I appreciate y'all, man. Jim Jones, Joel Santana. Thank you very much, my boy Lush One. Come on, easy call. No jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, Patreon, Instagram, etc. Like, comment, subscribe. No jumper.com if you want to support.